With Singtel's eSports PvP tournament just around the corner, we are here at Resurgence to check out the team. Why don't we take a look? Hi, I'm Wei Song. I'm Jeff, nice to meet you. So, we have with us Jave So, who is the owner and CEO of Resurgence. First off, congratulations for winning the qualifiers. Thank you. So, how does it feel to be part of Singtel's PvP Esports Championship, this initiative they're coming out with? I think, I think what Singtel has done is they've done something that uh, a lot of people within the Singapore space has really wanted to see for a long time, which is having the largest esports event. It's a really exciting opportunity to play for a grand total of 300,000 prize pool and to be part of an international circuit. Uh, Resurgence will be fielding teams across all three titles at the main event. We have qualified, we have signed up for everything. And uh, I heard that the event is sold out. So that means that we'll be playing in front of a huge home crowd and we are very excited to see what we can bring to the table in front of our fans. That's amazing. So why don't you show us around the HQ and then we can meet the team. Sure. Alright, so this area here is actually just a, a sofa area with a TV console where the teams would review their gameplay after every single training session. And also next to this space will be where my team is working on. So this is where they are training uh, or rather preparing for the team's trainings and stuff like content creation as well as scheduling. This is where all the magic happens. And moving forward, this is the area where we have the recreational space. We've got a pool table as well as the foosball table. We've even got a dark spot, a small little pantry. All this just to make sure that our players feel comfortable while they're training at this training facility right here. Now that we've seen the HQ, so why don't we take a look at the team? Hi guys! Hello. It feels great to represent Singapore and we feel comfortable playing our home ground. We get to meet like great teams like LGD and Secret. It felt great actually to be able to represent Singapore and to be play at such a huge stage and on top of it is in our home ground. I'm really glad that I'm participating like against all the like really strong teams that are coming over like LGD, Team Secret. So like I'm really excited to represent Singapore and have the chance to play against all these strong teams basically. Well, I guess both Omega Low and Team Nuts, they give us a very big challenge like all of the games. Overall nuts, they, they put a better fight when we're against them. Uh, normally our training starts around 8pm on the weekdays because one of our teammates have national service during the day so we can't really train in the afternoon so we can only train from night. So we will train from 8pm until around 12am normally. Apart from that, we will just play pubs our, ourselves in the afternoon. I play Blade and Soul when during my free time other than Dota when we are not training. I don't really have much advice, but in my opinion, if you don't have the potential, don't waste your time doing it. First thing about like wanting to become a pro gamer is like you have to be passionate about passionate about the game that you want to play. Like for example, I've been playing like Dota when I was like 12, 13. So it's like to me, I've been like constantly playing every day since then. I constantly want to improve and like prove myself. You have to constantly want to improve and have the hunger to keep playing, and, like not burn out and all that stuff. To everyone out there, it's more of like if you really want to be a pro gamer, you really have to give it your all, much like every other sports out there. So we have spoken to Jave and we have seen the team. So all that's left for us is to wait for Singtel's PvP Championship that's coming up in October. So that's all we have for you today. See ya!